Okay, what's up guys? So welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully it helps you. If it did, smash that subscribe button. Helps me and the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. But without further ado, let me show you how to create an easy gradient material in Blender. Let's jump into it. So, got a, just a scene going on here. You don't have to create this, but yeah. What you can do is go Shift A, Mesh, and add a cube. Then, what you want to do is go here, scale, and then just go here, zoom in, bring this in. Something like that, then go here. X, G, bring it up, something like that, and then S, scale it up, something like this, looks good. Okay, then what you want to do is click on your cube that you made like a, almost like a glass window thingy, my bobby, and go to shading, and then hit new, go to camera, and then let's go here let's go here to cycles boom 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 okay and then just bring this up a touch nice okay first thing you want to do is click on this principal bsdf and hit delete we don't need it and then first thing you want to do is go shift a type in glass and add a glass bsdf plug this into the surface then what you want to do is change this to beckman Okay, and then change this color to anything you want. So I'm just gonna go with like a blue. And if I see there, it's kind of looking like glass. Okay, and then what you wanna do is go Shift A and type in gradient, texture, plug the color into the color. Okay, then what you wanna do is go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure that Node Wrangler is enabled. So make sure that that's checked. Hit say preferences. Okay, then what you want to do is click on the gradient texture and hit control T and change the UV into the vector. Okay, so you're gonna plug the UV into the vector. Then what you can do is you can change the X. You can see if I bring this in, you can change this to 0 0.05 and it adds a fall off. Something like that. You can always play around with it later. We want to add some colors now. Okay, then what you want to do is go Shift A, type in color ramp, plug this color ramp in here between the glass PSDF and the gradient texture. And then what you can do is you can pick your colors. So I'm going to go with white, boom. Let's go with like a pink, and then yeah, it's black. Bring this up, click on it, bring it up. And change it to like a blue. And then what you want to do is just add a touch of roughness. Just so it makes it look a little bit more realistic. Now it obviously doesn't look gradient yet. And then this is where the magic happens. So what you'll do is you'll bring this in. You'll bring this in. And you can see now. You're kind of getting that blue. You can make us even darker so. You can see if I bring it really dark, you can see it more clearly. But you can then play around with this, play around with that, bring this back. And you want it somewhere like that. And I think 0 0.09 looks good. Obviously, the bigger your object, this will also make a bit of a difference. So it, it all depends on that. But you can play around with this just to get something that you like. But you can see how nice this is looking. And then this looks good. If you want, you can always change the color so it's easy. Hit here, change this. That looks quite nice as well. It's got like a light blue and a dark blue. It's that easy. So this is the node. It's an easy setup. It's really simple. You can bring the roughness in more. Bring it all the way down. Completely up to you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. I will upload this to the Patreon. So if you want to download it, you can. Support me in the channel. But, but yeah, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.